Recently, Blackboard underwent a system update. You may have noticed that with the update came changes to the built-in text editor. While most functions are still available, the look and feel is a bit different, so let's dig into some of these changes. This tutorial is going to cover how to embed Google Docs and presentations. If you don't already have an item set to go, you want to go ahead and click to build content and then select whatever type of content you want to build. I already have my item built here, so I'm just going to click on the arrow and go to edit. Now once the text editor loads, we'll be able to point out the slight change in how you're going to embed code. There used to be a button here that said HTML. That button no longer exists. Now, instead of choosing that button, you're going to hover over the double arrow button, which is the source code button. And this is where you're going to paste in uh, the code that you grab from either a doc or a presentation. So let's try a Google Doc first. I have one pulled up here. The first thing that you need to do, just like before, you'd have to go to File, Publish to the web, and if your document is not published, go ahead and publish it, and then you get the option to grab the embed code. I'm going to click here, Command C to copy, and then I'm bringing that back over to my Blackboard course. I'm going to hover over the source code and press that, and here is where I'm going to paste in that HTML. Go ahead and press save, and you can see that my document has been embedded. Now, this is not the appropriate size for this document, so I need to adjust that. There, this is where a little bit of a change comes in. To adjust the size of this document, I'm unable to click and drag to pull it to the size that I want. So what I have to do is I have to come in and edit the code. So again, I'm just going to click on that source code. Pulls up the code that I just embedded. Now I need to add in height and width to try to um, adjust the sizing. I'm going to go ahead and put my cursor right after the word frame and press space. Now my options come up where I can adjust the code. I'm going to say I want my width equals. I like my um, embedded Google Docs to be the size of an actual doc, so I go with 900 for the width. And then I press space, space. Now I can put in the height right away. And for my height, I like it to be 400. And I'll show you what that looks like. You can adjust the size and the height um, to whatever fits your needs. Um, this is just my preference. So I'm going to go ahead and press save and let you see what that looks like. So now I've got that Google Doc embedded. It's about the size of um, a actual document. All right. And you'll see once I hit submit um, that it's scrollable. So the entire document is scrollable for students. Now let's do the same process with a Google Slides presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and put my cursor in the text editor. And now I'm going to go to my Google Docs or Slides presentation. Same process, file, publish to the web. If it's not already published, you publish it and then you can grab your embed code. Um, here it's going to tell you the size that you've got it published to. So right now I'm going to be publishing it um, medium. Uh, that might be too big, so you might want to say, you know what, I'll go with the small. So this will just automatically make it that size. So let's go with small right away. I'm going to click the code. Make sure I grab the whole code. Command C to copy, and then I'm bringing it back over to Blackboard. Source code. Put my cursor at the end. I'm going to actually give it another space and then I'm going to do command V paste it in and we'll go ahead and press save so now you can see I've got that Google Doc embedded and I also have my presentation embedded the size that I like if I wanted to go about and change this um, size of the presentation here I would change it the same way that I would the Google Doc just go to my source code the difference with um, the code is I had to manually add in the width and the height here for a Google Doc, whereas with a Google presentation, it automatically adds that in for you. So if I wanted to adjust the width or the height there, all I'd have to do is change these numbers here. So that is how you can embed um, both a Google Doc and a Google presentation. And here is your final product. You'll notice that just as you could before, um, embedding this whole page, it is now scrollable, so students can easily access the content that's on the document. Same as with the Google Slide presentation. It's embedded, it's clickable, and students can access the resources that way.